Hello everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa Moments. And welcome to Sensi Saturday. We are back with part two of sniffing through the brand new Fall and Winter 2023 Sensi catalog. We just went through the new releases. Right now, we're going right into holiday scents, you guys. 10 holiday scents. Let's start because I'm excited. First one, Candy Cane Buttercream. I like this one, but it's very light, very light. I did not put it in my Scentsy Club last year. I wish it was stronger. It is nice. It's just not strong enough for me, but it's pretty. It is pretty. Um, their description is a forest of peppermint candy, peppermint candy cane and vanilla bean frosted with buttercream. That is what it smells like. I do like it. I just wish it was stronger, but, um, I would purchase it. I, I would buy another bar of it. Okay. Uh, coming in next with Christmas cottage. This is a bestseller and for good reason. This one has been around forever. And I love this one. It's a cozy, inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. It's Christmas, you guys. Finally, we have found our first Christmassy scent in this catalog. And I knew it was going to be this one because this one is good for a reason. It's so good. Christmas Cottage is a must to have to get that warm, Christmassy just feeling. I love it. Um, next one we have is cinnamon pine cones. I think this one came out last year. I think it was a new one last year. I don't honestly remember. Uh, it's the warm scent of sparkling pine cones adorns festive fir balsam branches and a classic hint of sweet cinnamon stick. It's a mouthful. Cinnamon pine cones. This one's also good. Um, I don't like the fir balls and branches in here. I'm not liking that vibe, um, but it is Christmassy. I will give it that. Cinnamon pine cones, definitely Christmassy. Um, then we're gonna come in with clove and cinnamon, very spice forward. Uh, it's just cinnamon sticks and cloves. That's all the description is. And that's all the scent is. I don't like it. I find it a little too heavy handed with the spice. Um, but if you like spice, you probably would like that one. Eucalyptus wreath is the next one. This is a bestseller. This one came out, I think last year or the year before. I can't remember. I think maybe two years ago. Uh, it's fresh eucalyptus, juniper and frosted mint. This one is harmless. It's pretty. It does have a touch of what I would consider an aftershave-y kind of woodsy manly scent. So it's not my favorite. Eucalyptus wreath. Not for me. Um, Perfect Peppermint is exactly what you think it's going to be. Uh, it's pure peppermint. That's all it is. And it's good. If you like peppermint, this one's for you. It's fine. Again, because it's peppermint, it does have a little bit of that harsh peppermint tone, if you know what I mean. I am still a fan of vanilla mint. I will warm vanilla mint to my dying day. I was lucky enough and smart enough to put it in my club because it has not been in the last two Fall and Winter catalogs, and that is a crime. Um, I don't know why it hasn't. It's amazing. I prefer Vanilla Mint just because it ha it takes that edge off. It just takes that edge off. Um, but we're not talking about Vanilla Mint right now. Right now we're talking about Perfect Peppermint. And if you like peppermints, you're going to like it. I like other things better. Polar Bear Hug. This is blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. I probably would have loved this scent if they didn't put the amber in. I'm not a fan of that uh, scent at all. 
again, it's okay, but not for me. Uh, that amber is just throwing everything off for me. Polar bear hug. But people like it. I know they do. Um, next in the holiday scent is one of the new releases that we sniffed through. This is the Red Current Wreath. It's red currant, winter berries, evergreen, and sandalwood. As I stated in the last video, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Sorry. Um, coming in next with silver bells. This is another one that's been around for a long time. It's mint candy canes, um, warm winter pear, caramel, and vanilla sugar. This one, again, it's nice. I don't think I've ever purchased a bar of this. There's just other things I like better. I don't know, you guys. Silver bells. I, I just don't know how to feel about it. Um, and then ending the holiday category, finally something really good, very snowy spruce. Absolutely love. Absolutely love. This one... It's in my club. It has been, and it will stay there. Um, it is Breathe in Fresh Forest Air, Balsam, Spruce, and Cedar Branches. Embrace the warmth of amber and woody pine cones. What blows me away is I hate amber. I hate balsam, cedar, and spruce branches. They say it's all in here, but I don't know... What magic combination has created this scent? But I love it. I cannot explain it. That's why even if the description has amber or something in it, I still have to sniff it because maybe I'll be wrong. Like this one. You guys. Oh, it's so good. I love it so much. It's got a mild sweetness to it. It's just, it smells like I'm walking through a forest in the winter. I love it. Oh my God. This is yes, yes, yes. Very Snowy Spruce is a yes. Okay. That's it for that category, you guys. 10 cents in this category. If you're going to buy anything out of the holiday category, candy cane buttercream, Christmas Cottage, and Very Snowy Spruce. Yes, we are starting to put together our fall and winter scents. Fall and winter scents. Did I say that? Winter? Winter? I don't know. It's coming together finally. I'm excited. Um, some of these videos are going to be short because I want to get through all of them, but we're going to do individual videos in case someone is only interested in a certain section. Now, the next section, there's a lot more, okay? It's the spice category. Yeah, spice. We've got how many? 15 cents coming up in the spice category. So if you like spice, you might want to look at the next video. We'll see you guys there.